Hi there traders, welcome to Elite Currency. My name is Chris. This video is all about cryptos, gold, and some stock indices. We'll start with Bitcoin itself and we'll take a look what we can expect in the upcoming week. Okay, first of all, Bitcoin versus the US dollar daily chart. And many traders are looking at this pattern and wondering what's next. And it is looking like a triangle and probably is a triangle. So from my perspective, uh, it is looking at it like this is a wave A, this could be a wave B, up for C, down for D. This could be the final piece of a bearish triangle where we have a wave E. Now that wave E, if it is a bearish triangle, may not break above the top of wave C, otherwise that is invalidated. So any break that goes above this particular level, which is around 9,800, uh, would invalidate that particular pattern. This could also be a bullish pattern, a bullish triangle. In that case, uh, this would be an A, this would be B, this would be C, up for D, down for E, and we could get a break like this. So I'm leaning towards the bearish variant at this moment, uh, just because of the, of the larger kind of, um, you know, sizable correction we've seen. And I think that one more lower low and then a close and reverse scenario is the most likely on Bitcoin. Now that lower low doesn't have to be very far. It could break just by a little bit. And then if we see a V Valley reversal, if we see a strong bear, bullish candlestick pattern here, that could be the start of that V Valley reversal. And we could see maybe some bull flag and then continuation like this. So this is basically what I'm expecting. So from this perspective, uh, price, I would think, is going to bounce back to the downside around this trend line, which could be anywhere around 88, 89, 9,000. We could put a fib, of course, on this uh, swing like this, and typically could go anywhere uh, to, to these fibs, for instance, right? But most importantly, uh, if it is a bearish triangle, we would not expect price to break above this top. So as price makes it to the upside, well, we don't know for sure if it does that, but if it does, I'm expecting a bounce back down. All right. So now the question is, how will price respond to this particular support zone? If it bounces back up, we could be in a bullish triangle too, but that confirmation only uh, is visible if we break above this resistance trend line. The confirmation of downside happens, of course, if we break through this support trend line and we could see a lower low. Now, I would personally not be trading the downside break, by the way, because I don't think necessarily that has a lot of space for downside. Um, I think that anywhere around 55, 5,000 could already be, you know, a, a very interesting psychological support zone where price might react to that. Uh, obviously, the bullish triangle, by the way, is invalidated if price breaks through this bottom, then it cannot be uh, that, that particular bullish triangle anymore. Uh, because this is then the wave A, uh, if it is a bullish one, right? So that's about it, I guess, for the moment. Expecting up, down, up, sideways, up. And uh, we, of course, will have to see how much momentum is in this piece to analyze whether Bitcoin could really push up for a new high or is it just still a correction? That all remains to be seen depending on the price action we see. But at the moment... Pretty clear uh, tops and bottoms in play, pretty clear triangle. And uh, it looks like actually price is making kind of a, a bear flag at this moment. You know, so that is kind of bearish pattern, but considering the strong support zone, I do think that that bear flag will turn into a bullish break that could head towards this trend line, but I don't expect a, a very big breakout to the upside. For the moment, I just expect basically to price to continue in that triangle and, uh, head back lower so these are some trend lines but i think that uh price will pick up steam and then head towards that fall back down now ethereum is looking a little bit different because i think that we saw pretty much crash pattern here but then a closing reverse and a v valley kind of reversal now we're seeing an abc correction so it looks a little bit more bullish in my eyes but of course it is not independent from bitcoin either so if bitcoin does make a bearish break on the triangle uh, it probably will uh, drag the bitcoin lower too but bitcoin might stay above this bottom because you know there is a chance that this is five waves up and therefore either a or wave one so this could be a correction and therefore if it does stay above this bottom it could easily be a, a wave two or b all right excuse my 
weaker drawing skills at this moment. So, and then up could be wave three or C. So Ethereum looking a tad uh, more bullish in my view, but still waiting for, I think the Bitcoin pattern to, to play out. Ripple really doesn't look, you know, very low momentum at this moment, low energy, um, very, very big consolidation, looking a little bit more uh, like a slowdown of price action, uh, following probably more Bitcoin, but could be, I guess, and then shoulders here inverted, but still be careful until Bitcoin probably finishes that uh, bigger triangle. All right, let me just let me clean it up. Bit here this is gold and uh, we're basically waiting for price to make a breakout to the downside in my view like this if we get that breakout I think there's a good potential for a fall uh, and price could make that down to this bottom like this and complete a bigger a B C pattern so that's what I'm waiting for at the moment all right let's take a look at the stock indices I think that basically uh, we are seeing a triangle two. There is a consolidation triangle. This could be a wave A, up for B, down for C, up for D, down for E, and then that would be a bullish triangle. We could see maybe a push up. So from that point of view, wave C bottom shouldn't break, and we should expect price to respect the wave B before making E. So this this particular top, if that gets broken, it's not a triangle anymore. It could be a bullish breakout. As long as it stays below that, I think there could be still one more correction down for a wave. E, all right, and that could be an interesting spot for a new uh, continuation of the trend and perhaps a higher high eventually. So we can connect the dots like this, get some support trend lines on the table here on the chart, but I think that um, that at the moment seems it was likely for Dow Jones, S&P 500, more or less the same. I think it could also make a, a triangle pattern and it could fall down for wave E and up. And DAX is looking a little bit different because it did break for a higher high here. So, you know, this is a little bit different structure at this moment. Ultimately, very good rally, uh, but showing momentum to the downside at this moment. Uh, I don't have any particular uh, favorite pattern here at this moment, but maybe this trend line could see a bigger retest of the bottom uh, and maybe complete kind of an ABC pattern like this at this moment. But... You know, that's the only thing that crosses my mind at the moment. Otherwise, it is still in a consolidation, just a little bit different consolidation at this moment. Could be a head and shoulders pattern as well. Of course, the neckline is a little bit different. It would be a neckline like this, but, you know, it is looking um, like a potential head and shoulders reversal pattern. Will it play out? We need at least a break of this, then perhaps a break of the bottom before we get that confirmation. More analysis, free analysis at EliteCurrency.com. You can also, of course, check out uh, our free ECS start package or one of our systems, SWAT, CAMACD, or our service live. And let us know if you have any questions, of course. Uh, above all, wish you all good trading and talk to you soon. Cheers.